All right, all right, all right. All right, so this is my journal entry three. Um, the point of this video is to show you how we're gonna deal with captions and attributions. So, uh, entry three, notice my text is heading. You gotta make sure that all of your headings for your, uh, are headings and the headings match. So if you use heading one for one of your entry level, uh, entry headings, use heading one for all of them. So when you generate your um, self-generating uh, uh, table of contents, that will happen. If they're not the same, if you have like a heading two and a heading one, they won't all generate. Okay, so um, entry, you don't need to worry about the like what I wrote, it's not that important. But what's important is, this is all one. It's an image that I generated used by inserting a Google drawing, adding a text box, and then bringing it back, and then uh, saving it onto the doc. Then I text wrapped it, and um, so the text would go over here, and not below. And then, um, obviously I did some other things that'll be described in the uh, Ed Puzzles for uh, Spring Break Photo Journal. Notice, this is not my image. I still put a caption on it. It's image attribution below. Here's where we're putting the image attribution, down below in text, below your whole journal entry. All right, so let's get to that real quick. So get rid of this thing. Okay, this is where I got the image from. You may remember this from a while ago. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. So remember this is heading one. So when I auto-generate my table of contents, that'll happen. Okay, click enter a couple of times. Notice it goes back to normal text. Normal text. All right, this is where I want my table to, or my um, drawing to go. So insert, drawing, new, um, you can. So over here is your image. You can add it by URL, Google Drive, um, or from your Chromebook. I'm just going to copy paste mine on there. Uh, what is that? So, image and paste. Bring it to a reasonable size. Uh, text box. Um, since I don't own this image, I don't want to put my caption over the image because um, that will make it so I have to do a different attribution. I just want to do the normal tassel attribution, not a tassel mod. And uh, let's just, I'm going to steal from this other one so I don't spend my whole life typing. Type, type, type. Look at how fast I can type. Boom. All right. Um, all right, there's my caption. You can make your text a little smaller if you choose to. Um, this up. Boop. All right, and then remember, you can change the fill color if you, if you have a different color background on your page, but this is just gonna be white on white, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so then I go save and close. There's my image. Um, then what I'm going to do, so notice it's all one image. I clicked on it, text wrap. That way when you start writing, you can write beside it and then below. And then um, I'm not a huge fan of how this turned out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the drawing that I inserted. The drawing acts like an image. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to make my text smaller so it's prettier. Um, make your deck smaller. Maybe pull this out a bit. There we go. That works. All right. Save and close. I like that better. And then I need to add my, what I wrote for my journal. Which is I'm an, I'm an, I'm an amazing typist. I am typing. Boom. All right. Remember, you have a page breakdown here. 
Um, okay. Now I'm gonna. This is where. So image attribution below. I'm gonna add my attribution down there, which is also amazing how fast I put this together. And call it a day. All right. And that is how we're dealing with our captions and attributions. Remember, if this is your image, you need to include what's going on in the image, where it happened, and a date. All right, go get them.